It's important to know the properties of a rhombus. Why? Because you're going to use it in proofs, true and false questions, matching, lots of things, especially when you're trying to find missing angles and sides within a rhombus. So let's get started. The first key thing about a rhombus is that it's a parallelogram. So everything that applies to a parallelogram also applies to a rhombus. So we have two pairs of parallel sides. We also have four sides that are all congruent to each other, not two pairs of congruent sides like a rectangle. The second key thing is that the diagonals bisect the angles. So if I drew in a diagonal here, it will bisect this angle into two congruent angles, and it'll do the same thing to that angle. So these four angles will all be congruent to each other. If I drew in the other diagonal, it will bisect that angle, and it'll bisect this angle as well. Another key thing is that the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. So they will always intersect at a 90 degree angle, and they're going to bisect each other. So the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other, but they don't necessarily intersect at a right angle. A rhombus, it has to intersect at a 90 degree angle. So just to remind yourself that these two things are not true for rectangles. So for a rectangle, the diagonals do not bisect their angles, and the diagonals in a rectangle are not perpendicular bisectors of each other.